Not a dad darn thing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Dad did peptides in his shoulder. If this is real, this is what we're doing. We're not, we're not discussing it any further. This is what's gonna happen. We've been able to revolutionize and really bring to the forefront the importance of repair, cellular repair and recovery with peptides and how it naturally enhances the cell efficiency of repair. But what's even more important is where we've gone with peptide research and how we are using it in modern medicine now. We had a high profile patient uh, come in and she had a pretty substantial ankle reconstruction um, procedure done. So Sean was getting smarter with patients and this one really pulled him in because it was time for to inform him of where we were really going with all of these athletes. So I had her optimized with peptides and got her into the operating room and got the reconstruction done. First day post-op, she had no swelling at all. And so I talked to him after, I'm like, there's no swelling. He's like, yeah, 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 that's that, that type row procedure. You know, it's really, it's really good procedure. I'm like, yeah, it is, my God. I got them thinking, I've got them engaged. I've got them asking why. I mean, I've never seen anything like this, you know, and, and that's just amazing. Like that procedure is just unbelievable. And that's when I was finally told that she was on peptides. I needed him to follow with me closely through that whole process because I wanted him to think there's a method in my madness. I wanted this to bother him. I wanted this to be something he was constantly trying to figure out, and he did it. For me, that was super powerful because I had no preconceived notion going in. That was just me seeing her with this ankle reconstruction, her body type compared to everyone else, and oh my God, how much quicker she progressed and how, how solid her ankle was right away. And so for me, that was, uh, I mean, if I had I known going in, yeah, I still would have been blown away. It's all about the outcome and, and working with people. So my son Quinn was 18 years old, had uh, herniated a disc and had tried a number of different ways and it just was not working. It was our last scrimmage and I went to basically just lower my shoulder and my outside knee basically just buckled. This session it was the left knee and then I developed some problems as far as lower back. I slipped on the ice and I, I tore my rotator cuff and, and my bicep. It started with my right knee 2013 and then from my right knee to my right hip 2014 uh, 2015, I had both shoulders done one week apart. I do know that I was very limited in, in what I could do comfortably. He was having a hard time sitting for two hours. We couldn't get a fully, full extension, full straightening of his knee. But I do believe that these injections have helped. Now it's getting a little bit better. And the fact that he was able to return to what he's able to do now is pretty amazing. Went back into the doctor's office just like straight up, he's like, I'm not gonna lie to you, like your ACL is completely gone, I can't even find it in your knee anymore. So Ethan is a uh, ACL reconstruction that uh, has been on the peptide therapy. And then surgery <laughs> two days after that. Ethan had almost no swelling the day after, so uh, I really like to make sure they understand that, like this is not typical. My friend, he's actually from the same part of town we literally, he tore his ACL, but he had surgery a week before I did, but I was able to like flex my knee really good, walk around basically like pain-free, like normal stride, normal everything. And he was still limping around and uh, not like real steady. Ethan's gonna be at a point where he could, you know, be two, three months ahead of the game. And that specifically is peptic. And so we talked to Dr. Seeds and working through doing some shots and everything else with the peptides in the next couple days and then moving forward it really had a huge impact. When I went into the emergency uh, with the VA I, I couldn't move my arm. Part of the problem that I <clears throat> was having with my arm was the length of time from my fall to the to the surgery. He just comes into therapy to get his arm moved. He can't do anything really on his own with that type of procedure. He got a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better, but he was stuck here no matter what we tried. Gave me a shot uh, in, in the arm that, that actually took away a lot of the pain and I was only able to get my arm about here, you know, and he gave me a, a second shot. And uh, so now I'm able to do him still a little bit this way, but, uh, I, you know, I can uh, That was a little bit less than what he 
thought that he would be happy with, I think. Prior to having the surgery, I, could be, I was on um, maximum doses of Tylenol and Motrin. She hurt her left hip, she's a nurse, she has to get on the floor. What I did differently with the left hip was we started physical therapy at least a month ahead of time, at the same time that I started using the injections. All I can say is I am exactly six weeks post-op, four weeks before. I don't use Motrin, 800 milligrams, Tylenol, 1,000 to 1,200 at all now. I don't have any need for it now. And you saw her six weeks post-op. She's walking on one, you know, she's single leg balancing. She's, she's been doing that for two weeks. She is way ahead of the game. And the only thing that changed is she had peptide treatments. Just as an aside, after I had my own hysterectomy, I found that I was not at all sexually interested in anything, and that was not who I was prior to it. I am very sexually interested now. I'm a strong believer in uh, the um, uh, new approach to medicine that Dr. Seeds is involved with. I'm fascinated by it. It just was a, a miraculous turnaround. It was pretty amazing. Peptides are not just the next new thing. Peptides are a revolution.